We're out here at Sweet Pickin' Market today. It's a Sonoma County monthly market every third Sunday of the month. We have a passion for antiques and for vintage collectibles, and we really wanted to create a space where other collectors could come and find really sweet picks. We curate the show, so you're not gonna find anything new here. It's all vintage. Vintage is taking over. Vintage is a buzzword. We are selling nostalgia. We're bringing the past to the present, and that's what people are looking for. There's something about objects from our childhood, a time that we may think back on fondly, and when we connect to an object that reminds us of a better time in our lives, it can really be impactful. We got over 60 vendors. They've brought all kinds of amazing things, ephemera, rock posters and rock t-shirts, the vintage toys and vintage records are all really, really hot right now. So it's generational. So I think what we're trying to do at Sweet Pickin' is mix the generations up a little bit. So there's a little bit for everyone. So it's anywhere from a 13 year old all the way up to 60 plus. So when you're looking for something really unique, markets like this are the best place to find them. We've got free parking and we got $2 admission and it's just a good time. We all love treasure hunting. When you get a sweet pick, that basically means that you found something that you were, you know, really happy about. Something that you've never seen before or that you've been dying to find your whole life and it's here. This is an indoor outdoor market, which is unique. The inside market is kind of more geared towards records and toys, comics, trading cards and baseball cards. We have one of the largest Star Wars collectors in the world who's here in Petaluma, Rancho Obi-Wan. The inside market, is almost like a, a vintage Comic-Con. And the outside's a little bit more of the antiques. I really like doing this show because the people are interested in, in the things that I have. They want to hear the story of what I'm selling. You want people to bring something home that they're going to be able to tell their friends about. These are all vintage 100-year-old pans, Dutch ovens, skillets. We find them in many different places. We do restoration, and then we do a seasoning with our own seasoning product, which is a Skillet Doc Seasoning Salve. Came up with the name The Skillet Doctor because I'm repairing and healing skillets. We want to keep these cooking for another 100 years. 1915 Wagner uh, cast iron skillet, yeah. The kids here in town, Leia love to wear vintage stuff. I like vintage clothes because they just, they have this character that modern clothes don't have. Denim is huge in our world, especially the Levi's. Jerseys are super hot, sports memorabilia. People are fans for a lifetime. I got this super awesome O'Neill USA tee that was made in the 80s. Very vintage. A vintage 80 Ramones tee is going to be super popular. Connecting to a band that you love from your youth to a concert that you used to be at is an instant trigger just for joy. We have vendors here that offer things that are antiquities, going back to the year 800. They walk by and they say, oh, this looks like a museum, but that's what I specialize in. I like to collect history, world antiquity, anywhere from 1,000, 10,000 years to the present. This piece here is a pestle out of Gunther Island that was found by Doc Stewart. He was an archeologist, so this was from the 1930s. It dates back to like the horizon period, which is like 5,000 years. One of the vendors sells really beautiful Native American items. Vintage Native American jewelry from various tribes, Zuni, Navajo, Hopi. We have bolos, belt buckles, of course, cuffs, earrings, rings, necklaces, primarily squash blossoms, which are in, in demand. The people that are coming out here are just super fun. They're having a good time. I ask the customers when they come by, tell me what you bought today. And they're excited to tell me what they bought and what they're going to do with it and how they have a special place in their house where they're going to put it. It's a beautiful way to spend a Sunday afternoon. That's really what this is about. If everyone could leave here with one thing that really tugged at their heartstrings, that would make me super happy.